In this video, we'll be going over scaling. Now, there are several different scaling options in Motive Wave for scaling the price time range of the price plot. By default, the chart price range is automatically scaled from the visible data and the components, which is also referred to auto scale. So let's take a look at some of the scaling options. If we right click on the chart and click on chart settings and then scaling, you'll notice we have auto scale, price range, and square. So let's cover auto scale first. As you notice here, auto scale price only is selected. We click OK. Now what that means is that if we were to draw any components above or below price, those will not be taken into consideration when uh, auto scaling. So let's, um, let's turn auto scale off. You can turn auto scale off here from the toolbar via the auto scale icon. Let's move this down. Let's draw a line. Now watch what happens when I click on auto scale. You'll notice that only the price is being considered in the auto scale. So let's take this off so you can see that that line is still there. Okay, now let's go back to scaling. And if we uncheck auto scale price only, and now we click auto scale, you'll notice that the component is also included in the auto scale. Okay, so let's click on that, we'll delete that. Let's go back to scaling. Let's leave price only, and I wanted to show you the top inset and bottom inset for pixels. What that will do is that will leave space between the top border and the bottom border of the chart and price. So let's click OK. And you'll notice here now that the between the high and the top chart border here is 150 pixels. And same with the low here on the far left. Let me move it. This low here and the bottom chart border is 150 pixels. OK. Let's move on to price range. Now, if you're not in auto scale, then you're in price range mode. And well, actually, one thing I wanted to show you in auto scale is that you're limited to horizontal movement only. You cannot move the chart vertically. And again, that's because the highs and lows are automatically, um, with auto scale, the scale's adjusted so that the highs and lows are always present on the chart. Okay, so if we take this off, auto scale off, again, you'll, we're back in price range mode. And now this allows you to move the chart vertically as well. In this case, we had the price range set, set to 100. So for instance, we can set this to 2000. Click OK, uh, which would be 20 points. And if we take a look, 112 here at the bottom to about 132, so that's 20 points. And now the scale here is set to 20 points. So if we scroll, you'll notice the adjustments are always made to 20 points. But unlike auto scale, I mean, if I were to move this up and then scroll, the price doesn't automatically get scaled into the chart. Now what could happen is say, well, I don't see any prices on my chart. Or they're actually there, you've just scrolled off. So bring it back in. Okay, we can, um, if we click on chart settings and click on price range and uncheck lock price range, now we're able to adjust the price scale manually by dragging, left clicking and dragging here. And you'll notice that when you do drag the cursor over the price axis, it changes to a double sided arrow, whereas if I go back and lock price, I can't change. If I try, I cannot change the scaling on the price axis. I don't get that double arrow cursor. Okay, let's go back, chart settings, scaling. The last one we have is square. Now what the square option does is it will set a fixed number of points per bar width. So if the bar width is expanded or contracted, then the price range 
will be updated to reflect that. So if I were to do this to, let's say, um, 50, I'm basically saying 50 points per one bar. And now the chart remains square according to these settings. Now, if I expand the chart, you'll notice that that ratio is still maintained, 50 to 1. One major application for this is people that use GAN. They want their chart squared, so they'll make that change and you can add make this any number that you want of course as you change it depending on what your settings are you either have larger bars or smaller bars according to the ratio okay so that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next